you, sir. Straight through, Mr. Fazy. No, check everyone, Keith. Without exception. We had another bomb threat last night. I think so. The demand was sent via in-house email. I thought the system was completely secure. Systems are running another land check this morning to see if they can find out how these lunatics are getting in. Right. Marcus? No one notices a cleaner. Still no response to our demands. Mm. They're so blinkered. 20 million pounds. It's what we're worth. They couldn't see it then, they can't see it now. Press the button, Michael. When you timed their fire alarm response, it was midsummer. And seventeen percent of their personnel were on leave, so I added forty-four seconds to the total calculated evacuation time. So you see there's no need to kill anybody. Unless absolutely necessary. Surely. But we can't take the risk. At first, we thought the blackmail threats were a joke. Then we began to take them more seriously, and we brought in extra security. But the bomber had no problem getting around that. They're very clever. The email threats came through an internal system. Even we'd have trouble doing that. What do they want? Just money? 20 million, they said, or we'll bomb again. No ethical demands, no political concerns. It's extortion, pure and simple. Mr. Vasey, what exactly does your company do? Electronic communications of all kinds. There's our cell phone service and pager systems, and our satellites carry all sorts of vital communications traffic. So if they strike again at a more sensitive target, they could wreak havoc? Yeah, it would affect the whole country. 65% of the population depend on our services every day. Could this be some sort of grudge matter? An ex-employee, for instance? The man who planted the bomb has been identified as a member of our cleaning staff, uh, David A. Crinolian. David A. Crinolian? What kind of a name is that? A false one. He's not a face I know, but then again, I've only been chief executive for six months. Well, our database gives no match on the face. No ID, no criminal record. Presumably why he didn't mind being caught on video. We have to find him before he attacks something more vital than our foyer. We've got over 30 vulnerable sites across the country. We can't defend them all. I'll organise the radios and the transmitters. Okay. Hey, kids. Can I have a word? I'll get the gear. Um... That 
that uh, naval reunion you went to the other night? Yeah. I lived shortly after you and happened to see you with your neighbour, Krista, isn't it? She doesn't look the naval type. I'm sorry, all right? I don't know why I didn't tell you the truth, OK? I... It was nothing special. I was doing her a favour. I see. And she does you a lot of favours too, does she? <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, that's not fair, Roz. Roz? Uh, Mr. Thatcher Barney's on the phone. <clears throat> Never heard of him. Well, he seems to know all about you. New watch? Yeah. These things cost a fortune. It's not what it looks like. <laughs> what, design a fake? I'm shocked. It's hardly the crime of the century. Anyway, even if it is a fake, it's still beautiful. Yeah. It's very nice. Thanks. It was a present from Adam. Come on, Ed. Time to go. Mr. Tachibana, I have no idea what you're talking about. And with respect, I have never heard of you or your company. Channing Hardy? Well, what's he got to do with this? Yes, I think you're right. I think I had better come and see you. Yes, I know what it is. Still no response from Vasey. He's new to the job. He doesn't know our history. He'll find out. We'll soon realise his predecessors could have avoided all this if they hadn't treated us like freaks. It is sad we have to resort to violence. How else do morons like that respond? CET's shares have risen again <laughs> with the announcement of that new capacity recordable CD ROM. Another product harvested from work we did years ago. If only they'd admitted. We made CET. And now we'll make them pay. I did as you asked. We're cross-checking the bomber's face with all CET personnel on file. Leonardo da Vinci. What? The false name, David A. Crinolian. It's an anagram of Leonardo da Vinci. Hey, no wonder you're so good at crossword puzzles, Ed. I have nothing to declare except my genius. What? That's what the bomber's saying. I'm so clever, I'm another da Vinci. We found a match. Marcus Brazer. He worked in the computer development division in the 80s, but resigned after a couple of years. Look at the reasons he gave. The inability of narrow-minded management to understand my ideas. CV. He went to university when he was 12. He got a PhD when he was 17. <sighs> he is a genius. There's a brother, too, Michael Brazer. Same date of birth. Twins. Give the names to Alex. One of the kids like these are bound to have left their mark somewhere. Thank you for coming, Miss Henderson. We're honoured. Mr. Tachibana, I do have to say, I have no idea what's going on. Uh, please. Didn't Mr. Hardy explain? No, I haven't seen Channing for months. Oh, well, then this may be something of a surprise. You work for me now. I beg your pardon? <laughs> I'm sorry, inelegantly put. We, that is the Haishiku Corporation, have bought Mr. Hardy's company and all its subsidiaries. Well, including mine, Ross Henderson Designs. We now own the license to all your existing and future ideas. <sighs> Channing Hardy sold my designs. Well, I can understand your surprise. But actually, it was you, Miss Henderson, who attracted us to Mr. Hardy's company in the first place. I'm very much looking forward to working with you and developing your brilliant ideas. Hang on, Mr. Tachibana, I don't work for anyone. Channing can't just trade me in like an old car. Of course not. But the contract is quite clear, Miss Henderson. Is it? 
I'll have to consult my legal advisors. Good afternoon, Mr. Tachibana. Well, there must be someone there who knows about my contract. Mr. Gilbon, leave, I'm afraid. And Mr. Rauch is in New York. Miss Calendar is off sick, but I'm sure she'll be back tomorrow. Great office. Well, I can't wait that long. I need some answers now. Carl Henderson, hello. Mum, I need some help. Rosalind, one of these days you'll phone me up just for a chat. And I'll die in the shop. Yeah, look, Mum, please, this is important. When I was moving last year, I left some boxes with you. You mean that big pile in the spare room? When are you going to move them? Soon, I promise. But can you go through them for me? Please, Mum, I'm in a bit of a fix. I need to find some papers about my licensing deal with Channing. Beckett, it. there's stuff about their university career, then almost nothing. They both worked for CET for a while. Then after that, they vanished. I've spoken to the divisional heads they worked for at the time. Neither man fitted in, apparently. Well, didn't the company take up anything they suggested? My understanding is that preliminary work they did has been incorporated into products developed later. Well, that's why they're so aggrieved. They want their cut. Mr. Basie, they've got into our ISDN lines. They say they've planted another bomb. Where? Our computer centre, where our internet service provider's based. Mm. Beckett, we heard that. You go straight over. I'll get Ros to meet us there. Warning 14 minutes ago. The building's been evacuated. Is the company going to pay? Only as a last resort if we can't find the bomb. Who are these people? They're less obtuse than the regular authorities. Oh, let's see what I can find out. Let's assume it's a remote control device like the first one. You and Ed find the command point. We'll go and try and find the bomb inside. They're called Bureau 2. They're a reincarnation of the old Bureau of Weapons Technology. The old woman is codenamed Jan. And Beckett is the operational chief. Mm, High-powered opposition. They're taking us seriously at last. But if they get in the way... Oh, we just have to engage our superior intellect. Let's relocate. Five minutes. Where's Roz? Jan, I'm here. Have you found it? No. We have to think like them. Roz, where would a genius hide a bomb? Are you asking her as a genius or as a bomber? And I'm neither, I can assure you. Marcus and Michael are certainly special. When they worked for the company, they came up with some brilliant ideas. Recordable CDs, risk chips. How long ago was this? 18 years ago. They were way ahead of their time. I bet the company couldn't see the point. That's right. Almost everything they suggested was turned down. Less than four minutes to go and still nothing. Beckett, you know Adam? Is he, uh, on the level? Hey? Well, it's, it's just that he bought Alex a designer watch and told her it's a cheap imitation. It's not, I can tell. So he's in love. He's got more money than sense. That's the point. How can he afford it? Those kind of watches cost an arm and a leg. Hang on a minute. I've got something. Well, it could be left or right. Split up. Three minutes left. Mr. Basie wants to know if he should pay. Beckett, progress report. Something's registering, but we haven't located the source yet. Jan, I found something. This computer's not online like the others. They're even brilliant at bomb making. What is it? It's a binary chemical device. Quite simply, the sudden mixing of two substances that react violently together causes the explosion. There's the receiver. Yep. And there is the valve. When the signal's sent, it opens the two mixed together and bang. We've got two minutes. Isn't it cutting? I think I found it, Ed. The wire's got some sort of coating, either molybdenum or boron or something. One minute. Come on, do something.
Ready to detonate. Probably found the van too. As long as they don't touch. They're gone. What's this? Hey, this is a booby trap. Get out. their intelligence and skill, but they are an impediment. But if we're to succeed in our goals... Then the Bureau must be eliminated from the equation. Are you sure? Well, I'm no lawyer, but that looks clear enough to me. Oh, Mum, I think you're right. This gives me the option to buy back the rights to my inventions if the licenses have been assigned. You mean you didn't know? Mum, there are 70 pages of this stuff. <sighs> Rosalind, I always told you to read the small print. So it'll be all right if I can just get the cash to buy back the rights? A bank loan? Yeah, right. We are talking about three million pounds, Mum. That's a tad above my overdraft limit. So go to one of the big city investment banks. Get one of them to invest mm -hmm. in you. Of course, Cayman and Ross, the investment bank. Mm. Graham Hurry. I did him a favour, now it's his turn to do me one. You should have come to me first. After all, I own my seat on the board to you. Graham, the clock's really ticking on this one. You know the kind of work I've been doing with Channing. You've seen the figures. Surely my future royalties are enough to secure the loan. I think so. I just ought to check your accounts with our market analyst. I don't have the time. Ross. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Okay. In the circumstances. And since it's you. Thank you. I... I can organise a bank draft in a couple of hours. I was hoping to put cash on the table, so to speak. Can you get me something more liquid? Exchequer bonds? Perfect. I really owe you. Yes, you do. How about dinner? Mr. Tachibana, thank you for calling me back. I've got to go. stuff, I see. Yeah. Old technology's got a lot to teach us. Where's this piece you want me to have a look at? Yeah. Does Marine Command mind all this clutter? Clutter? This is 200 years of naval history. Sorry. <laughs> what can you tell me about the history of this, then? Well, I'll ignore this microtransmitter. That's your field. This is fascinating. Well, can you tell me where it originally came from? Oh, it might take some time. Well, look, I really appreciate this, all right? Can you get in touch with me as soon as you can at the Bureau? Yeah? Oh, you won. He's on his way. Just finishing. Approximately. 
Can methyl sulfoxide. Mm. It significantly increases the absorption of the anaesthetic through the respiratory system. Excellent. His name is Beckett. Beckett? I'm sorry. I met him here just the other night. Look, I'll tell you again. I haven't heard... Oh, don't pretend he doesn't work here. Just check the spelling. B-E-C-K-E-T-T. -E -T. Nick Beckett. We really Krista. don't have... Krista, what are you doing here? It's Ross, isn't it? Yes. Oh, thank goodness. I was supposed to meet Nick an hour ago, and he never turned up. So I came to see if he was still at work, and she says there are no electricians in the building. Yeah, well, we're a discreet outfit. Look, Beckett went to meet someone. He's probably back by now. Beckett, it's Roz. Where are you? Beckett. What's going on? Where's Nick? I'm not sure. What are you keeping from me? Nothing. Oh, come on. She lied to me. Now you're lying too. I'm not leaving without an answer. Why did you bring her up here? I had no choice. She was making a scene. She was supposed to meet Beckett. Where is he? He's gone to Ian Keating. Well, he's not answering his radio. Roz, just get rid of her. Krista, what is this place? It's not an electrical contractor's. No, look, um, when Beckett said he was an electrician, what he meant was that, uh, that we do a lot of work for the, um, uh, for the government. Well, what kind of work? Uh, Krista, I'm sorry Beckett wasn't here to meet you, but I think it's probably best if you go home. Jan! Someone's dumped a video file in our mailbox. I think it could be the twins. We've captured your bureau chief, Nicholas Hang Beckett. on, is Nick in some kind of trouble? I suggest you listen to what we say and don't ignore us anymore. Beckett is currently unharmed, but we can't tolerate any more interference. He'll be released as soon as CET accedes to our demands. Nick. If you want your chief back alive, persuade the company to pay. What have they done to him? Who are they? And what do they mean by demands? These people are attempting to extort money from a major communications company. It appears they've kidnapped Beckett in order to up the pressure. What well, don't sound so cool about it. Shouldn't someone be doing something? We're doing all we can, but we don't give in to blackmail. Now, it would probably be better if you went home. Krista, we know what we're doing. You just have to trust us. I thought I was getting to know Nick, you know? And now I find he's some kind of government agent? How long have you known him? A few years. He was the one who got me into all this. We've um, been in some tight spots together. It probably sounds stupid to you, but... I was beginning to think Nick was someone special. Doesn't sound stupid at all. I'll see ya. Alex, where did the video file come from? They routed it through an anonymous remailer. Oh, terrific. That should make it really easy to trace them. Haven't we got a clever bit of software to track that? I know someone who does. The Hive. Adam was telling me about this new system they were testing. Get over there. I'll clear it with Dent. Right. I'll come with you. No, I can manage. Figured it out yet? There's a transmitter in my wristband sending information back to here. 
Correct. This box is an explosive device held up by an electromagnet. Move further away from it than you should, and it'll explode. We call it a reverse proximity fuse. Don't think you can beat it. It's an old building. If the primary blast doesn't get you, the falling masonry will. Wait, 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 wait. Why are you doing all this? I mean, is it just for the money? Limited imagination. Navy background. It's not complicated, Mr. Beckett. We set bombs, create terror, and take a large sum of money not to do it again. It was a very simple way to raise the money we need. Until your bureau interceded. Oh. And all this because CET ripped you off a few years ago. We were abused, mistreated, and alienated. They said we were antisocial. They made us the way we are. That's why they owe us now. You see? Make sure Jan gets one of these for the Bureau. The program operates by colonizing dead areas of cyberspace. You mean it borrows spare computing power on various mainframes connected to the net? That's right. It's into the remailer. Just needs to sort through the incoming feeds. There you are. Brilliant. That's the server your blackmail message came from. Great. So, if we check the service provider's client records, we should be able to get an address. Thanks, Adam. Hang on a minute. I'm coming too. Are you sure? It's the first field test we've ever given this program. I'd like to follow it through. I uh, know the way. Thank you. Mr. Tachibana. Ms. Anderson. You're exercising your right to buy back your inventions. Yes. But I'm sorry, Mr. Tachibana. I don't have much time. Well, I must say I'm disappointed. I think we could have worked well together. Perhaps. But my independence is very important to me. Oh, evidently. Though, to be honest, I'm surprised you managed to raise the money so quickly. It's amazing what you can do when you're motivated. I have three million in exchequer bonds. I trust that will be sufficient. Three? Uh, forgive me, but did you read the full text of the contract? My mo monetary advisor gave me a synopsis. Why? Miss Henderson, the buyback option has two conditions. It's tied to the current share price. And since it became known that we had you on board, our share price has been climbing rapidly. It's almost doubled in the last three days. I see. So to exercise the buyback clause... Would cost you another... two million. Second condition? It's a time deadline, of course. You do realize that you've only got six hours to invoke the buyback. I'll be in touch. The video file came from here. Well, it's the right address. Let's take a look inside anyway. Let's try over here. Okay. One of the pressure pads in the west wing. Let's trace the message back through the remailer. Spooky place. You okay? Fine. Hit <laughs> 
Ahem. Hello. Good shot, Marcus. Titanium darts. Can't beat them. Graham, you're wonderful. I can't thank you enough. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Yes. Selling your house, your cars, everything. Those are my designs. I want them back. Two million in cash. I uh, borrowed it from our emergency fund. I bent the rules pretty badly. You put the money in your name, didn't you? It was only way I could get so much cash so quickly. If anything should happen to this... You'll lose your job. I'll probably go to prison. I don't know what to say. Thank you for trusting me. Look after it. I will. I promise you nothing will go wrong. Graham, thank you. to a head. Make them take us seriously. What do you mean? Go for the big one. 20 million pounds in our online account by the deadline. Or the ground station goes up. We're all prepared. The bombs at the very heart of their operation. Minus 17. 19.9. This time, we don't tell them where the bomb is. Three hours? How can you find a bomb in three hours if you don't know where it is? We're working on it. By playing word games? I'm trying to pinpoint which of the 32 CET sites has the bomb in it. Remember the first attack? They got access to your building by getting a job under a false name. Yeah, an anagram of Leonardo da Vinci. I've accessed the company personnel database. I'm running it through my crossword cheater to see if they've tried the Leonardo trick again. The program's up and running. OK, how many staff names are there? Um, total personnel is a, a shade over 11,600. <laughs> Shouldn't take more than a couple of years, then. Here it comes. Nothing found. OK, let's try names of other people. Inventors, scientists, uh, Sir Isaac Newton. Uh, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Charles Babbage. Who's he? He invented the computer in the 19th century. Alan Turing. Um, Copernicus. John Steady on the Here's something. Ernest B. Trainer. An anagram of Albert Einstein. Where's his trainer work? Uh, at a place called Arkhampton. What? It's our main satellite ground station. National phone services are routed through there, not to mention the emergency services pager system. They mean business, then? It's a huge site. We'll never find the bomb in time. And if Arkhampton goes down, it will be a disaster. I have no choice. I have to pay the demand. Now, it's a huge area, but the bomb is in there somewhere. Whoever finds it, contacts me immediately, right? Right. Mr. Vasey. The bank have got the 20 million standing by in our account, but it won't actually go until the last possible moment. As soon as I have news, I'll let you know. You stay here. Right. What happened? You OK? Some kind of tranquilizer dart, I think. Why is it so cold? Minus five. I'm dropping fast. We need something to open the door with. Sorry, Beckett's not here. Tell me. 
Well, it's an old de Riker and Scion Type C temperature gauge. They were custom made for Blanchard's freezers in the late 1920s. They're perfecto model. There won't be that many still around. Uh, have you any idea where this one might have come from? Well, I traced the serial number. It was part of a batch delivered to the electric freezer company, JY64CY. OK, thank you very much. Let's go. Go? You've got a meeting, haven't you? A deadline. Beck, it's more important. Uh, Rose? Do you need this case? Just a bit. It's so cold, it's sticking to my hands. Come here. Cold for that. Stimulating the circulation just sends the cold blood from your extremities to your heart. What do we do then? How do we keep warm? We need to keep together as close as we can. We can serve our body heat. Just keep close. Adam's car. I thought it was at the hive with Alex. They must have traced a video message here. And they've got her too. Ed, be careful. This place is probably better protected than you think. Hello. Yep. Okay, you look for Adam and Alex. I'll look for Beckett. Okay. Fifteen minutes. They're cutting it a bit fine. I'm monitoring communications to their bank. The transfer is being prepared. In fact, we could. Uh... No, Michael. Before we deactivate the bomb, we must have conclusive proof the money's in our account. Alex! I don't get a chance to defuse it. Wherever I go, this goes too. Why are they doing this? They blame CET for exploiting their ideas and giving them nothing. Oh. I know how they feel. What?
Alex. <laughs> Adam. Adam. Adam is going to be fine. Jan, what's happening? They said you found it. Stop! Stop! You shouldn't be here. Is that it? It's got every anti-tamper device I've ever heard of and a few more as well. And we're running out of time. I'm telling the bank to start the transfer process now. It'll take a few minutes to copy. Stand still! He sent the instructions to his bank. I'm going to log on to the interbank payment system. No, Marcus. The protocol exchange takes 90 seconds. Then the transfer should start. Ed, I found the twins. I need you. OK, Rose. On my way. You're going to be OK. <laughs> Station. There must be an abort button somewhere. I'll divert them if you can get round the back here. Okay, done. Another minute or two. The money will be ours. Michael, Marcus, stop. You don't have to do this. You don't understand. Oh, believe me, I do. I know you've been badly treated, but this isn't the way. C-E-T-O-S. I know, I know. But if you let that bum off now, you'll have crossed the line. Give up and we can sort this out, I promise you. No, it's too late. Marcus! <laughs> that wasn't me. Jan, can you hear me? Go ahead. We've aborted the bomb. It's deactivated. Stop the money. Take it somewhere safe to detonate. <gasps> I'm really sorry about your car, Rose. other secrets I should know about. Does this mean you don't want to see me anymore? Of course I still want to see you. It's just that I'm not part of this world. Not like Rose. You must know how she feels about you. That was over a long time ago, Krista. As long as I'm not coming between you or anything. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. You're gonna do what? My company is seeking to expand its holdings in the financial sector. So you're gonna buy Cayman and Ross? Well, a merchant bank would be a useful addition to our group. And the five million that Miss Henderson owes you will now be paid off by my company from the royalties on her designs. It's a way to save both our skins, Graham. And it'll keep you out of jail. 
It means you're back where you started. You still learned your designs. I know. But at least I won't be bankrupt. Adam's bank statements? I found them in his wallet on the freezer floor, so I copied them. Jan, look at the deposits. Where's he getting that kind of money? Not from the hive, certainly. But we shouldn't jump to conclusions, Ed. We mustn't let our personal feelings get in the way. It's not what you think. No. No, you're too professional for that. All right. I'll ask some questions at the hive. Not a word to Alex. Whatever's going on, I don't want to see her upset. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Champagne's on us. Oh, something ain't off. Adam's done the most outrageous thing. What? Well, let's just call it a long-term cure for frostbite. We'll never be cold again. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? He's asked me to marry him. She said yes. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. <sighs> That's wonderful. Well done. <laughs> I'll pop that for you, shall I? 